Hello and welcome, it's Chris here. This is part three of the three-part video series where my friend Flo compares Mac OS app development versus iOS app development. I hope you enjoy this last lesson of the series. If you like Flo's teaching style, make sure you check out his YouTube channel, Flo Writes Code as well. All right, enjoy. A crucial aspect of Mac OS apps is window management. That includes opening windows, closing them, and managing which window handles which events. Hey Code Crew, this is Flo. This lesson will cover everything you need to know about window management for SwiftUI apps in macOS. You will learn about deep linking, setting up different window types, opening URLs, and of course also closing windows. First of all, let's have a look at the example project. It's very simple. Right now there's just a single view that is the content view with a hello world string. Let's have a look at what happens right now. So let's run the app and then a single window will come up with our hello world text element in there, which is just that content view view. The window has a title of our project title. So macOS course lesson three in this case. The first thing that you need to know about windows is how the titles work. So the default title is just the name of your project. In this case, macOS course L3. If you want to change the title, it's very simple. In your app struct, you can just go to your window group and add the title as a parameter to that initializer. So let's just call this one our main window. Let's run the app again and then you will see the window is now called main window. So super simple. It's just a single string that you can add there. Next. Let's find out what happens if you want to set up different windows. So let's create a second window group here. And let's give this a name of maybe our detail window. And in here, let's just also show the content view just like that. To make it easier for us to distinguish the two, let's give the content view a little title string that we can pass in. So here we can just say that the default title is hello world. And then instead of that hard coded string, we can just show the title here. Now what we can do is call the first one main window and the second one detail window. That way it's just easier for us to yeah find out which window is showing. So now let's run the app again. And you will see that only the first window group is open by default. That means that in our case, now only the main window will be shown to the user. Now, of course, we want to also be able to show other windows. And to do that, we have to take use of deep links. You might have already used them, for example, when linking into a specific page in your app or when opening a specific view in your app using a widget. Now, in this case, we will use deep links to open a specific window group and thus a specific window. There are a few different steps, but it's actually pretty easy to do that. The first thing when working with deep links is you will need to go to your project configuration, select your target and go to the info.p list. Now in Xcode 12, that was a single file here in the navigate on the left hand side. Now it's under the project target. And then you go down to URL types, expand that section, hit the little plus icon. And now here we can add a custom URL. So let's give it an identifier of my awesome app. And the URL scheme is the important part. Now in our case, I will just call it my app. You will see how we will use that in just a second. Okay, so now we have registered a URL type so macOS knows that our app will be or should be opened when the specific URL scheme, my app is used. Now to let macOS know which window should be opened, there's actually just a single modifier that you need to add and that's called handles external events. So let's add that one to our detail window, window group. And then in here, we can just create a set of strings. In this case, I will just 
want to have the detail path basically to be opened in the detail window, then we can also add that modifier to our main window and say the main path should be opened. Now you will understand how this works in just a second because now we will go into our content view and we will wrap the text in a vStack. So we can also add a button below so we can yeah, open that deep link. So let's create a button here and let's call it open detail window and let's fill out the action. You might have already seen this, but there is a closure inside of the SwiftUI environment that we can use to open URLs. So let's access the environment at backslash dot open URL. Give that variable a name, doesn't really matter, but in this case, I like to always call my variables the same key path name that they have in the SwiftUI environment. So it's very yeah, obvious for me in the code to understand what they do. Now we have that open URL action here. If we option click on that, we see it's of type open URL action. And if we have a look at the Apple documentation here, then there will be an example of how to use it. I think it's very easy to use, so let's just jump right into it. Close the documentation window again. We can just construct a URL and then pass it into the open URL function. So let's try to call this function. And then you will see it expects a URL as its input parameter. So let's construct our URL, like always. We will construct it via a string. And, and now the important part is to remember how you call your URL, URL scheme in your targets info.plist. So let's have a look back there again. If we expand the URL type section again, the scheme was my app. So let's copy that, go back into our content view, and that's how the URL will start. Then we'll be, there will be a colon, slash, slash, and then the path or route or whatever. This is basically what we specified in our handles external events modifier. We want to show the detail window, so we will have to use the detail path, just like that. Now, there is a tiny issue. The open URL function expects a URL, not optional, but our URL is now optional because this is a failable initializer. So we will just guard that it worked and else we will just return out of the function. So now we have an unwrapped URL here and we can pass it into the open URL function. Let's build and run the app and have a look at what happens. Okay, so the window has now opened, our main window, same as before. Now we have our open detail window button here. Let's click on it. And you can see our detail window has now also been opened. Of course, we can click that button again and again and again, and more and more windows will open. You probably also want to have a way to close a specific window, and that is also super easy. Let me show you how it works. You might already know this little environment function from your iOS apps, but it actually behaves different on macOS. On iOS, it undoes a navigation action. So if you have a navigation link or a sheet or something like that, and you call the dismiss function, then the sheet will be dismissed or your navigation link will be deactivated. On macOS, the dismiss function will close a window. So let's add a second button. Let's call it close current window. And let's just call the dismiss function in here. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, this is another thing that you might want to remember. Oftentimes, not always, macOS remembers which windows of your app were open before. And then they will get restored when the app restarts. Now, this doesn't always work as of my experience. So if you want to open specific windows, you will have to do that via code, which you have just learned how it works. Now let's hit the close current window button and then you will see that detail window was closed. We can open it again via our open detail window button and close it again via our close current window button. After this third lesson, you now know how to set up different windows using deep links to open new windows and also how to close them again 
using the dismiss function in the SwiftUI environment.